Amanda Juris. I'm the director of coffee and green coffee buyer at Verve Coffee Roasters in Santa Cruz, California. And I'm here with the WC All-Stars team because I was the U.S. Cup Tasters champion in 2014 and I got second place in the World Cup Tasters Championship. My name is Lynn Butler. I work for Counterculture Coffee. We are a wholesale roaster in North Carolina in the U.S. When I first started in coffee, my very first single origin espresso was Ethiopian. It was a Yerga chef. And I was blown away by the floral notes, the sweetness of the coffee, and I've always been drawn to brightness and sweetness because of that one shot. So being here, I mean, this is the birthplace of coffee. So being submerged into the culture, hanging out with these baristas, I mean, it's an amazing experience for me. I'm Peter Vroman, I'm the Chargé d'Affaires, or the Chief of Mission of the U.S. Embassy in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia. One of the things that in Ethiopia USAID has helped with is bringing together buyers, companies, roasters, expertise to come to Africa and look for coffees that are really singular and exquisite. So my name is Farah Shebani and I represent Kimma Coffee. Particularly interesting, uh, I think the scale of it. The scale is really on, on another level. I mean, 400 plus thousand tons of coffee production. And like I said, on a, the number of different varieties that are available in the country is, uh, is uh, yeah, it's quite impressive. My uh, name is Aman Adeno, and I'm a coffee grower here in uh, Ethiopia. We call our strategy seed to cup. So we have a farm, and we have processing plants, nursery. We work with outgrowers at the farm and uh, clean and export uh, coffee. And we have uh, one of the first coffee laboratories that's certified in Africa. I'm Marcus Young, and I work for Boot Coffee. Um, Ethiopia is incredibly unique. It's the birthplace of coffee. It's really the place where you can still find coffee growing wild. And there's untapped potential still for genetic variety and diversity. So it's just incredibly exciting from both a flavor standpoint and also a sustainability of special coffees. Ethiopian coffees can taste like flowers and citrus fruits and tropical fruits and berries. And I think it's those experiences that tend to resonate most with people throughout their coffee career of the first time they, they really had an epiphany experience with coffee. The cafes love African coffees. The really high quality, high volume cafes, they'll have you know, a year round blend, but they'll, they'll feature that Ethiopian coffee when, whenever it's in season. Yeah, our coffee is the best. I mean, it's very difficult to talk about it, but it's a fact. Ethiopian coffee, uh, hands down, is the best coffee in the world and uh, the quality is improving. As you know, we're winning uh, awards all over the world. And uh, what else is there? Come, and besides, it's the most beautiful country, I think, on earth. There's heaven on earth, I call it. So come visit. <laughs>